Hey guys, so today we are going to try and tackle the wiring. The wires that are going, that are in the dash that need to be spliced and go into the flying leads on the SR20 engine harness. I'm going to use like a, I think there's four or five wires on there. I'm going to use the adapter, whichever one I need, and that way I can unplug all the wires from the car to the dash so you can take the dash out. So if you ever do need to take your dash out or get a new dash or whatever, it's easy to just unclip these instead of having to cut wires again and resolder wires and all that. Just so you know, like I've been looking at diagrams for the Miata um, for my year, trying to figure out what wires go where and then what they're supposed to be doing and which ones they connect to on the SR20 engine harness that I got from um, Wiring Specialties. So this is what I found. Um, hopefully everything's right. I went over it about five times with Tyler, um, just double checking everything. And I also got some information off of Flying Miata's LS V8 swap. Um, their their how-to um, directions that they give you for the LS swap really helped me out on a lot of the wiring as well as answering some questions that I like kind of was on the edge about um, so I did find a lot of stuff on that I won't be able to tell you for sure if everything's working correctly until the later videos so you have to stay tuned for that so I'm gonna start with a dash okay so I previously went ahead and marked all the wires um, that we're gonna be cutting uh, it's gonna be the yellow and red is oil pressure. The black and blue is temperature. Yellow and blue is tack. And white and red is the alternator. And then the black and yellow one over here is 12 volt tack. Um, the tachometer one is the only one that I'm not 100% sure on right now. Um, I think we're gonna have to run a resistor on that, but. Um, I need to look a little bit more in depth than that before I hook that one up. So we're going to hook the alternator, the temperature, and the oil pressure one up right now. Okay, so basically what I just did is I cut the yellow and red wire, which is the oil pressure wire, in half, stripped them, um, and then added another wire coming off of it, um, which is the same color that I found and I'm going to run it down here and then make my connection with the rest of the connections down here. So I'm going to do this for all of these. All I did was cut the alternator wire in half. You can see that. I've got another wire. What I'm going to do is take one of these again. Put this to the back of the wire that I cut off, slide it in here, take the other wire that we cut, slide it in here as well, and make sure it goes all the way, that way you can see all three are past the soldering ring. And then once you have it like that, you can take the heat gun and heat it up. Go ahead and slide it in. Slide it in like that. Actually, I want this one to be on one. And then you'll see it pop out. You'll see the silver. So this is what I have so far. I've got the three wires, oil pressure, um, temperature, and alternator hooked up to this three prong connector and then from there we're going to run all three of these wires over to the ECU um, flying leads which come out over here these are all the leads here um, and I'm going to put them in this in this well somewhere just haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm setting this up so I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of slack. Anyways, it's not gonna hurt, so. Um, I just have to figure out where those K 
cables come down and then be able to run the proper wires over here from that connector. The ECU for the SR20 fits right next to the Miata one perfectly. I've got everything in the engine wired up. Um, so now it's time to tackle the flying leads off the SR20 DET uh, wiring specialties harness that I got. What I need to do is take all of these and hook them up to the Miata harness. Um, so what I did was I looked at all the schematics and it's gonna vary if you have um, like a 1.6 to a 1.8 and so on and so forth. So you definitely have to check and make sure which wires you need to cut if you're going to do this and um, don't take my word for it. This is the first time that I'm doing anything um, to do with a, an engine swap. So I have everything written down on my notepad, what needs to go where. I've marked and labeled everything that I need to cut. I have more labeled on the dash. I think it's like four, four or five wires that come off of there that go to the flying leads over here. So we're gonna have to run wires from there to here and I'm doing a connector. So that way I, I can easily unplug and unplug the dash. I'm gonna start with the start starter wire. Um, on the wiring specialties, they have it as a starter signal. Basically what I did is I fed this up from the transmission because uh, this hooked up to the starter on the Miata. So I went ahead and rewrapped the wiring harness down there and everything and ran this up and through the firewall. So then we went ahead and snipped it. We're going to take this wire and on the flying leads we're going to find the start signal. This one here, the thicker of the wires. It, and the nice thing about this harness is it has everything labeled. So it's really nice. So we're going to have to snip this one as well. So yeah, so I have this sleeve. So basically all it does is you slip it on. Slip this one in, and you'll see how both of them are in the uh, solder here. And you want to leave it like that, and then we're going to put the heat gun on it, and the soldering should melt. Yeah, so once it cools down a bit, you can, like, I can tug at it, and it's in there. It's not moving at all, so hopefully it should give us a good connection, and then it gives it a tight weather seal. So definitely make sure you have everything where you need to, where you want it and need it, which is why I set up my ECU here first. That way I kind of had an idea of how to run all this, so. so. Next, let's go ahead and do our AC switch, which is this light green and black wire here. What I'm going to do is snip it in the middle and then basically tee this in with the same connector that we just used. On the specialties it's the purple wire and again it's labeled. Let's go ahead and do the AC relay wire which is blue and black and that's going to the green on the SR20 harness. Tyler found this piece of wood. I'm going to try and shove it. So now we're going to do the fan switch, which is kind of short up here. I mocked up where I wanted my dash connector to run, and it should run down there. So I had already previously ran three wires. Um, I just kind of guessed the length, and I'm using leftover wire that I've cut out of this harness just to save some cash. Um, but yeah, these. They're kind of like the perfect length. They're a little longer, but that's perfect because just in case I have to run it a little differently, I can. I have them labeled again, and what's coming off is the oil pressure, the alternator, the alternator light, and the temperature wire. And we're going to hook them up to these three individually. The only thing I don't have as of right now is the tack. Um, mostly because I need to know if I need to run a resistor on it 
and I won't be able to find out until um, I have the car plugged in it can run. I can see what kind of voltage this one's running and what kind of voltage the car is running to see if I need like a resistor to get it to the right voltage if, if I'm making any sense. But so the tack I'm going to wait on. The speedo I'm fairly certain I do not need because I have a manual speedometer. So we're going to go ahead and do the temperature wire first which is the yellow and blue on my car, and then the blue on the SR20 harness. So now let's do the oil pressure. And that's gonna be light green and yellow on, the, on my car, and then the yellow on the SR20 harness. All right, now for the alternator light. And that is a white and yellow on my car, and then the white and red on the SR20 harness. Again, the wiring will differ on what kind of year car you have, and also if you're using the wiring specialties harness, or another harness, or the stock harness, etc. You could use the stock SR20 harness, you would just have to trace all the wires for yourselves. I didn't have a stock harness, so I went ahead and bought a new harness for this. Um, we've got everything wired up in the for the engine, minus the. I'm gonna say uh, say something like, uh, "Let me know what you guys think below. Don't forget to comment." So minus minus the MAF because obviously there's nothing here now. Um, the O2 sensor and the boost solenoid. Also, we just ran everything under and through the intake manifold here. We're getting new injectors because we just broke one today. Um, oops. That was my bad. <laughs> Whoops. And um, I've got the fuse box, everything plugged into the fuse box. I've got the SR20 fuse box that came on the uh, wiring specialties harness tucked up next to it. Wow, this camera will not focus, but anyway, it's right next to here. Sorry if you can hear a fan in the background, but it's very hot. Um, so basically what we're going to do is I have these ignition wires here. I'm only going to use one. I'm going to hook it up over here to this red ignition wire on the flying leads for the engine harness. And I have this wire that I actually cut off as well, so it's the same, it's literally the factory wire. And we're going to hook these two together first. Basically what I've been doing is putting a piece of wood down, that way I don't melt the other wires with the heat. Alright, so we got this one on. Now we're going to splice into the reverse wires and wire them up to here. The reverse wires don't have any polarity, so it doesn't matter which one goes to with, you know, green or green and white. Um, the reverse light wires are black and yellow and red and green, and it doesn't matter which one you hook it up to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these right here, and then I'm going to tee them in to both of these. So you're going to splice the red and green wire to, I'm going to do the green wire off the SR21. Then we're going to splice the red and black wires in together with the green and white coming off of the... the green and white is coming off of the SR wiring specialties harness. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how I could do the wiring better or whatnot. Um, I'm still learning. I'm sure I can do it way better. I'm sure there's an easier way. Um, or if I did something wrong, please let me know. <laughs> please. <laughs> For the love of God, please. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think. Give us a comment below. Let me know if you need any help with anything or if you any, have any questions, if you're doing the swap yourself. Um, so yeah, later guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more on the SR20.